Welcome to the journey. I have a question for you. Is the four day work week right for your business? Uh, yes, Emma, it is. I agree. all the time are looking into, hey, how can we increase employee productivity and just like the overall experience? How can we enhance that for our employees? Yeah, I love working for GoDaddy, but honestly, Same. the best part is the unlimited snacks. I mean, just <laughs> that little bit makes me so much more happier to come to work. Yeah, definitely. And if they can just add to the snacks, like, hey, you get Monday off once in a while, increase productivity and overall satisfaction. That's a win-win right there. Yeah. Also, I know companies are questioning, you know, not just the hours, do we cut back, do the four-day work week, but also just increase pay, more money, also more vacation time. I know that works really well for me whenever I come back from like a little vacay yes, or yes. get that bonus. <laughs> I swear, my productivity goes through the roof. You hear that, boss? Give me a raise. It's funny how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing to consider, I start off just thinking like, oh, companies can go to a four day work week. But another thing that I've seen is companies actually just increase the amount of hours or decrease the amount of hours in the day as well. I mean, for me, I think I'd prefer like the three day weekend, but mm -hmm. what about you? I agree. I'd rather work more in a single day because I'm already pretty much doing that anyway yeah. most You're days. You're already there. Exactly. You've done the commute. Yeah, why not have a day where you can stay at home in your pajamas, you don't have to leave. That's mm -hmm. what I would prefer. Totally, or your robe, that's what I do. So let's talk about why businesses may be considering a four day work week. Those millennials, it's really millennials, generation Zers, they all started to realize how important that work life balance was mm -hmm. to their overall mental health. I know when I come back from you know a nice vacation, like we had talked about, you're so refreshed and you're ready to get to work. But if you're going home and you're stressed every single day, you're overworked, you're coming in and you're not really at your best self. Definitely. Yeah, I noticed when I started to kind of shift towards this four day work, like in my personal life, four day work week, I noticed just the people I was around and my relationships, family, friends, et cetera, like I was a more balanced person and millennials like myself, like we're super in tune with that. We don't want to isolate ourselves from our families and our friends. So I think, I think we're onto something with cutting back the hours or the days of the week on the work thing. Yeah, and if you come into work with the right mindset, you're so much more better at your job and your productivity. Just, exactly. So some businesses, when thinking about like productivity and how to increase it, they've actually put some research into this and they've seen lowering the workday to this is shocking, three hours. Three hours of work a day. Yes, I would please. be off in an hour. Uh, that has actually increased productivity. All right, Emma, it's time for us to go clock out. Yeah, I know. So we're done. <laughs> All right, so now I wanna dive into the pros and cons of a four day work week. One that comes to mind, super obvious, less time commuting, whether you're doing public transportation or you're in your sweet whip, less time doing that, all for it. Yeah, and you can also save money as a business whenever it comes to heating, electricity, mm. AC, any of those things. Save the environment. Mm -hmm. Also, another pro, you get to spend more time with your family or your friends or your pets. I know my dwarf rabbit, Jack, he definitely appreciates when I'm around more. And uh, I think that's the same for cats and dogs and animals of sort. But definitely think about your family and actually having you around more and what that does for your own mental stability. Yeah, my dog Lainey is definitely pro four day work week. Yeah, more time at the park with yes. mom, more quality time on the yeah. walks, it's longer only fair. walks. <laughs> it's only fair. Also, aside from pets, Back to us, adulting. Oh, yeah. Like one thing that stresses me out about a five day work week that I like have to commute to and back from is when am I gonna fit in other things like going to the doctor, mm -hmm. you know, trying to stay healthy, um, just making other appointments. Like my lease on my car is ending soon. And that used to stress me out so much when I had a five day work week. I was like, when am I gonna fit this in to like go return this vehicle that I don't want anymore? But things like that, adulting. Right, and you don't wanna spend your whole weekend taking care of, you know, those adult things, yeah. then you don't even get a weekend. You feel like it's over with, and then you're having to try and schedule in those doctor's appointments throughout the week, yeah. and it's just a And then all of a sudden it's Sunday, and you get the Sunday scaries. Yes. Do you ever get the Sunday, Sunday scaries? Sunday scaries are it's a real. real thing. Yeah. And then Monday you wake up, and you're just like, anxiety! And you didn't have that time to like reset. Mm -hmm. So you go into work, productivity, meow, decrease on the decline. 
And one advantage, if you are considering a longer work day, like 10 hours so that you can have a four day work week, is that you know you have more employees there to take care of all of those different opportunities. So I know I work in Texas, and so there's people and clients that we need to talk to mm -hmm. in all the way from the East Coast to the Pacific Coast. So uh, time zones. Exactly. So whenever you're staying later, you know you can handle more of those Pacific Coast clients. And earlier, Hawaii with the Eastern time. Yeah, Hawaii. That's like five six hours is it i just remember calling hawaii later because i'm on pacific time and mm -hmm. i would call hawaii later in the day when i was a sales rep oh yeah yeah and they're like just waking up it's great they're like starting their day so research shows that actually the 32 hour work week resulted in zero change of productivity yeah, so it's not always necessary to be in the office for 40 hours just because everyone else does it, right? Yeah. So if they tell me I have to be there five days out of the week and I have the same amount of work to do, I'm just gonna make it last throughout five days. If I have four days to do the same amount of work, I'm gonna be a lot more productive and work with the times that work for me. So this reminds me of when I was on a psych course in college and they were talking about productivity with how students studied and what they got done in their day and it was actually Interesting because moms, you think, oh my gosh, they're so busy. Where will they find the time to study? But because they already knew going into it, like I got to plan around my kid, mm -hmm. picking up from school, dropping off at school, lunches, etc. They actually got more done. Yeah, they're basically a, yeah. superwoman. Yeah, basically superwoman yeah. within a time frame. Also, better attendance. You know, you only have to be there four days. So there tends to be an increase in actual attendance with that versus a five-day work week. Now, I guess we gotta kinda talk about some of the cons as well. Pros so and course, cons. Yeah, we'll be fair. All right, so, you know, of course, everyone has to be on the same page mm -hmm. in your office. And I know it's really different for everyone, right? So one thing might work better for one person and totally. the other might work better for us. Yeah, yeah, and those employees that are like, no, I'm sticking to that five day work week, they might risk the chance of them feeling alienated right? Because maybe a small percentage of your employees are still coming in mm -hmm. on that Friday or that Monday, that fifth day of the week. And that can be definitely a con when it comes to this four day work week versus five. So another con about the 10 hour work day might be too long, keeping you away from your families or moms away from kids. Yeah, exactly. So if you're a human mom or a dog mom, you know, you have to think about those kinds of things, right? So I have my dog Lainey, so I'm not going to leave her, you know, in a, you know, in the house for 10 hours out of the day. It's not really True. practical. And more importantly, if you have a kid that may not work with like your daycare schedule. So these right. are things you have to keep in mind. Definite con. Also very interesting. I noticed with California where I live is that if you do in fact have an employee that works past eight hours, the company has to pay overtime. So can you do that? Does that work with your schedule? Can you afford to? I might add up. The last con is you may have to hire more people to mm -hmm. make up for that increased flexibility. So that's more benefits that you're having to pay for, more training. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's adding up. Exactly. So some trials have shown that this four day work week can in fact be a good move for your company. And there's some research too, if it's not implemented properly, it's not a great change. But overall, if your team's on board and you communicate this, I say, give it a shot. And now you know some of the pros and cons of that four day work week. So be sure to like this video, go ahead and share it with everyone, including your boss. Also comment below, which pros and cons do you like? And ring that bell to know about our next video as soon as it comes out. This is a journey.